Meat Boy is back and did you guys know that Alfredo sauce was carnivore? And this is traditionally used on pasta as well as in chicken Alfredo, which I believe might actually be chicken with pasta. Either way, it's a delicious animal product based sauce that you can put on a variety of dishes, including pasta, including chicken. So let me show you guys how to make it. As with a lot of classic Italian recipes, Alfredo sauce is very simple, but based on high quality ingredients. So we have Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, butter, heavy cream, salt, pepper, and some garlic. The main nutrient considerations here are of course, the dairy products. Parmigiano Reggiano being made from cow's milk, grass fed, and hay only. It's aged for two years. It's a great source of protein, water soluble vitamins, fat soluble vitamins, calcium, vitamin K2, Excellent cheese choice. Uh, this is Finlandia butter we have from Frankie's Strange Meat. It's an okay option for cooking, of course. Get grass-fed butter from your local farm if you'd like to. Usually costs twice as much. And this is grass-fed, raw, local heavy cream as well. One cup. A similar nutrient profile to the butter. Both of them are high in fat soluble vitamins and high in calories. I actually have some leftover Parmigiano Reggiano grated, and this should be enough for this recipe. Uh, so the measurements are one quarter cup of butter, so we have to cut this in half, one cup of cream, one and a half cups of Parmigiano Reggiano, optional is the garlic, also optional is parsley, and of course salt and pepper. So really simple, we're going to melt the butter. And with the butter we're just going to saute some garlic cloves. These are going to add some flavor to the sauce and we just take them out later. And if you wanted to add Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder. This is when you would add it. We also wanted to add a little bit of salt and the pepper now. And just for, you know, two, three minutes in the pan, we want to extract some of the flavors from the garlic. You know, the nice thing about garlic or onions is that you don't have to eat them. You don't even have to cook with them that much. You just rub a little garlic or raw onion on something. It adds a lot of flavor to the dish. As soon as that garlic starts getting aromatic, we're going to add in our cream. Same thing with the cream. We're going to let this go for two or three minutes, warm it up, heat the garlic a little more, extract some more flavor. And if you want, you can even like smash up these garlic cloves when they're in the pan or, you know, before you put them in the pan. The cream's been at a nice low simmer for a few minutes. We're going to add in our Parmesan. And all we want to do here is melt that Parmesan and just thicken this a little bit. You don't really have to fish the garlic cloves out because when you go to pour this sauce over anything, you know, the garlic cloves will stay in the container anyway. So we don't really want to bring this back up to a simmer at all. Just let the cheese melt and let the sauce thicken up. And you could add more cheese to your desired thickness. Traditionally, I think Alfredo sauce is usually on the thinner side, but I like everything to be like goop, so. It's up to you. But that's really it guys. Nice and simple. And this smells, this smells so delicious. And it reminds me of an Italian restaurant. Just the garlic, the Parmesan, the butter, black pepper. So simple, so elegant. And that's really it guys. I'm gonna put this on my sister's grilled chicken tomorrow and I'm sure my mother will love it on some ravioli. Let me know how you guys like this recipe, what you use it for. Hey, maybe even you know make a high quality grilled cheese sandwich. Spoon this Alfredo sauce on top, broil it in the oven. Tons of different things you can do. So if you guys could please like the video, leave me a comment down below, and of course, share the video on social media if you can. Thank you guys for joining me today. You know how to support me further down in the description. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.